Hello, we are let's see if I'm going to work. Let us bless each other. We are peace. You're the missionaries to save the world. So let us restore the 2037 nation, 5,000 people here, and the 10,000 of believers. Thank you for the praise. Oh, God gave me. Oh, God moved my heart. And that, that praise was moving the uh, throne of heaven. That is why wherever I go, I will raise up the name of Christ and I'll praise God. May you become the person who really always uh, praise God. And may you become the person where you always give worship. Uh, I've heard this praise for the first time. But this praise, the word by word, all moved my heart. There are people who close their eyes and praise together. It is important to close your eyes and praise God uh, together, but concentrating on the on the lyrics is very important because praise is prayer. And I bless you. I bless you that you may have this uh, prayer be answered inside of your life. Well, there are many people who think that they're going to be late and where they cannot sit inside of a uh, Mahana hall. That is why they always come early, but I'm very sorry for that. And there are people who are listening to this uh, message in the Sunday school book. We must always go before God inside the worship. And I bless you in the name of Christ where the double portion of the Spirit is upon your people. The environment has changed a little bit. Uh, because uh, when I'm giving the message, the, the Hanaha, my introduction kind of became long. And when people say Amen, I can't really hear them inside of the uh, main hall. But because I can hear your amens and I can see your faith, that's why it really strengthens me. We must really restore amens. We must always say amen of believing that God, you will fulfill that work. And today we must hold on to this work. And throughout the year, hold on to this uh, title. It's always walk with the completed word of the gospel. It's walk with, uh, always walk with the completed word of the gospel. Are you facing uh, uh, hardships? Then just always walk with the completed word of the gospel. You want to, do you really want to enjoy the throne of God? 
then walk with, always walk with the completed word of the gospel. I bless you in the name of Christ. We go inside of this blessing where you always walk with the completed word of the gospel. The people who have received salvation and become a child of God must not live by the methods of the world. The method of the world, they are centered around their experiences. That is why people say, they say experience is the mother of uh, knowledge. Uh, Shakespeare said that experience is some kind of uh, treasure. There is uh, uh, experiences that we experience uh, for ourselves and there are experiences that we experience by other people. There is something that we experience and we receive other people's experiences. And through books, we can have uh, experiences. That is why living by the method of this world it could be comfortable for you and it might be easy and it became a habit to us. But if you live by the worldly methods and experiences, we can live better off than other people. But they cannot even save themselves. That is the worldly method. They cannot save themselves and they cannot save the church or the world. That is the worldly method. We can, uh, with the worldly experience, we can never uh, save the next generation and our fields and do missions in 237. That is why God has given us the blessing of the throne. Through Christ, the blessing of the throne is inside me. If you live by the worldly methods, then you have no choice but to suffer. But through Christ, God has imprint, implanted the blessing of the throne inside me. That is why if you see in Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified on the cross with Christ. That is why I no longer live. And only Christ lives in me. The Christ who is on the throne is inside me. If you see in 1 Corinthians 3.16, they say, do you not know that you are the temple and the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you? God, uh, we became the temple of God. And if you see in 2 Corinthians 5.17, we have become a new creation. And this is the answer that God has given us so that we can see this, uh, the world. The blessing on the throne is inside me. That is our identity. When we are giving worship, I believe that the throne of heaven is inside of you. We 
We don't know, but we're just giving worship. But these spiritual things are stacked inside of us. Then just have interest only inside. How will I uh, give my all in and concentrate on the Word of God? This gospel is complete. Just think and concentrate how I will give my all in inside of this completed gospel. It is telling us to discard the thing, the wrong things. Uh, people chase after the fake gospel and not the true gospel. So do not be deceived by that and get rid of that. The what is the what is the fake gospel? The fake gospel is the twelve strategies that the Satan gives us. That we haven't read today, but if you see in verses six through nine to this passage, and saying the parents thought serving weird gods was better off for them, so they're telling the children to serve weird gods also. As I'm, uh, as I'm living this life, uh, serving these other gods is better off, so you serve them too. But if you see in verse 5, it says, oh, put that to death. It says, but that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. And if you see in verse 10 also, it says, You shall stone him to death with stones because he sought to draw you away from the Lord your God. What does this mean? It is change your incorrect obsession to concentrating on God. It is saying, walk, always walk with the completed God, word of the gospel. And if you see in verse 4, it says, You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandment and obey his voice, and you shall serve him and hold fast to him. What does this mean? It is saying, always walk with the completed word of the gospel. Then why must we always walk with the completed word of the gospel? We must think about this throughout the year and we must always pray. Why must we concentrate on God? First is the gospel. Gospel is the answer to all situations. God has given us salvation through Jesus Christ. And every time, every age, God has given us the gospel as the answer. There's nothing that we must do. God gives us the word who He has chosen. Then we shall always walk with the completed word of the gospel. And during the meditative prayer, I read, when the war came upon Jeremiah the second time, and God gives us the word, and it's the God who fulfills that word. And that is Jehovah God. And they call to me, and I will show you great mysteries and it's the saying that God will fulfill that word God is the God of the covenant and we are the people of the covenant 
and this word will lead you inside of your life. Then inside of the Bible, in the Bible it says, who are the people who are blessed? If you see Psalms 1, 1 through 2, it says, blessed is the man. What does it say in the verse 2? The delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. It's saying, uh, law he meditates day by day. This, this people are the blessed people. Let's hold on to the uh, correct topic of the Bible. What What is the correct to topic of the Bible? It's Genesis 3.15. It's, it's talking about the offspring of women. And it's talking about Christ. If you see Exodus 3.18, uh, they, the Israelites could not come out of Egypt no matter what. But this ten uh, disaster was a miracle. And, but even with that, the King Pharaoh did not let the Israelites go. But the mystery of the, sacri the sacrificial offering, that is when uh, Pharaoh let go of the Israelites. God did not tell them, well, strengthen up so that you can escape from your slavery. If you see Isaiah 7, 14, that the virgin will give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel. It's saying that God will call Christ as Emmanuel. In Matthew 16, 16, Jesus, you are the Son of God. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And this is the content of the Bible. Reading the Bible is important. But if you just read the Bible without knowing this topic, then uh, this will just become a knowledge to you. The things that we do not believe uh, cannot become our power and our knowledge. But this, uh, the completion of this content is Acts 1, 1, 3, and 8. The completion of this gospel inside of the Bible is Christ. And that's Acts 1, 1. And Acts 1, 3 is Kingdom of God. And Acts 1, 8 is only Holy Spirit. If you cannot come to the realistic uh, answer inside of this, then you will have no choice but to suffer. If you cannot, if the end, if the word does not enter inside of me, do not just leave your state uh, as it is. But the word may not enter into you, but good things could happen to you, and you can have success, but that is dangerous. If the word doesn't enter into you, but uh, things are, are taking place, and you, if you have success, that is very dangerous. You must always know or uh, confirm if you like listening to the word. The fact that you are seated here where the word is proclaimed is blessing. But living a good life is very important, but that is why 
other people when they criticize Christians, they always say that you live a weird life. But that doesn't matter. Always stay inside of the place where you, you can listen to the Word of God. And you are able to live with the strength that God will give you. Before thinking about how I must live on, but staying inside of the place where the Word is proclaimed, that pe person is the person with hope. And then we're not just listening to the word with all my heart and with all my soul we must listen to the word of God and to those people God will pour down his grace if you proclaim the gospel as the gospel inside of the field you can have victory over the spiritual problems and idolatry inside of your field. If you cannot root down inside of the gospel, then you will have no choice but to fail before the two strategies of Satan. And if you cannot listen to this word, if you cannot hold to the word, then the bird will come and devour that word. Why do people have failure inside of the life in, inside the church? That is because they cannot hold to the word correctly. That ha that's why they have no choice but to chase after false and fake answers. Why do people fall into idolatry? That is because they could not receive the true answer. Why cannot? Why can't they receive true answers? because they could not have the correct conclusion inside of the gospel. The age where they uh, enjoy the mystery of gospel of Jesus Christ was the age of David. And that went all the way to Solomon. And that is why their nation was greatly strengthened and they were able to help the neighboring uh, nations. But if you see in the Bible, after Solomon, they lost hold of the true, uh, real answer. They were rich in material wealth, but they lost hold that they failed to root down inside of the gospel. That is why they had no choice but to do idol worship. And they were enslaved by material wealth. And that's when their nation went downhill. How far? During the age of King Ahab, the whole nation became an idolatry nation. And this has, that is why the servants of the Lord had no choice but to hide. But at that age, God has called Elijah and raised Elisha to raise up the gospel movement. Elijah says to Elijah, his uh, teacher, the, the double portion of the spirit that you have, I want. The, all Israelites were inside of crisis. And King Ahab during that age fell into idolatry. But Elijah knew that um, that was a crisis. And said, I need to take care of this problem, but I cannot do it with my own strength. That I want the double portion of spirit. Give me the blessing of the firstborn. And it's the age that you must save. We must save the age where the, our next generations are caught by disaster. It's the age that we must save. 
and God will give us the blessing of the firstborn so that we can save this age. Just set your direction correctly with God. Always confirm if my direction, the life that I live, is correct with God. We must uh, imprint this word as we, as our next generation is young. We must uh, imprint this word imprint this uh, word of the gospel so that it can root down inside of them and become their nature. Because of our spiritual state, the, we receive answers. So, we, uh, Pastor Ryu said to open up the age of the camp. We must make uh, make sure that this uh, gospel is imprinted inside of our children as when they were young. Do we really have the conclusion inside of Christ? If you really have conclusion inside of Christ, then time of worship, we are able to start with faith. And we are able to gain strength where we can really challenge inside of the field every day. And so people who have the uh, oh, who know that they have faith can really start the day off with Christ. We must make uh, all the time to imprint the gospel in our children. Jesus is the Christ. And with that name, the kingdom of God that is still upon us. And we must pro uh, relay this so that they can be filled with the Holy Spirit. In other words, it's saying uh, with the Acts 1, 1, 3, and 8, go inside of Acts 1, 14. We must relay this to our next generation. What does it mean to go uh, going inside of Acts 1.14 with Acts 1.1.3 1, 1, and 8? The five powers that uh, the blessing of the throne gives me is making that five power as mine. And that's why uh, we always talk about the nine settings. This isn't something that we set. It is the uh, uh, the three power, three transcendences, and the three never repeated, uh, unprecedented, and never repeated things. This isn't mine. When we concentrate holding on to the Word of God and we go inside a prayer, it just like it says in Acts 1.14, that is when that becomes set inside of our lives. This um, nine settings that is given from the blessing of the throne will be set inside of me without us even knowing. Every time we experience this and go inside of this, new power will be given to us. 
And holding on to that, we must go out to the field and really have victory. What does it mean to walk the good walk of faith? Whatever the case may be, Jesus is the Christ. And uh, believing in Christ is the most powerful thing. And instead of in the midst of an uh, important time schedule, we are able to confirm this every time. And inside of all of our meetings, that we confirm this. And that is when we follow after the word and we are rooted and imprinted, rooted and natured inside. The word is natured inside of us. If we're just sitting here, then we could think about other things, but we must concentrate and listen to the word. As we listen to the word, we must think that this is a war. If we cannot receive grace inside of the word, the path that we take will become a narrow path. But if you really receive grace and really concentrate, then wherever we go, no matter how hardships can come to us, that is a good road. You must know that it is the greatest blessing for me to be sitting here today. And if you follow after the stream of this word and receive grace, then our field, our future, God will take care of it. And this is the this is the condition of the person who has real true success. You do not have to rely on other people inside of your field. But you will receive strength to change that field. And you will receive the power to change yourself, the church, and the field. I'll come to the conclusion. Is that land 24? Uh, I held on to that land 24 because so that we can do 24 hours inside of your field and for our next generation. God has already given us the land that we step on through the word. So that is why that land 24 can mean only and concentration. That is why we must do this firmly and God will give us evidence wherever we go. Try living your life as a stream of this world. Then you'll just end up uh, losing everything to Satan and you'll just live your life like a beggar. It might seem like things are doing well off and you're having success. But that's just temporarily. As time goes by, you'll just become a beggar. But if you're actually walking with the word, then you are able to rule over all lands and 
You can follow, receive answer following after the word. Then, and your old self will break, and your with the new, uh, new frame. The old frame is the frame where you're caught by Satan, but that will change to a new frame, and you'll receive the blessing of the throne. And every day, may you really enjoy this word. The a true method of success is going inside of the word. Walking with the, always walking with the completed word of the gospel is the method of true success. God is with us always inside of us. This means the throne is inside of me, throne is inside of the church, throne is inside of the field, and the, this throne will be upon all three. This throne will be shown inside of me and the inside of our church. I bless you in the name of Christ where you really become the people who always walk with the completed word of the gospel. Dear God, thank you for giving us your uh, blessed gospel. Let us let go of, let down all the worldly methods and really chase after your methods and let us save the 237 nation and all the, all the field that is connected with us. And may we really uh, always walk with